So, going from her early design the pilot to her official debut during season 1, episode 2, she is one of the main antagonists of Hell of a Boss. Being categorized as a peacock demon, she is the wife, or ex-wife, of Solus and the mother of Octavia in the show. While she doesn't have a demon counterpart to her in the real world, she is part of the Goetia family alongside her brother, Andreophis, who does have a demon equivalent in demonology. Still, it has had fans since the beginning, with people justifying her actions, like hiring a handman to go after Solus. But since the circus episode debut, Solus' popularity in the fandom has decreased a bit. But there are still fans begging to see more of her in future episodes. That did get me thinking. If you collected every Celestine merch that Shark Robot had to offer, how much would it cost you? In this video, I'll be calculating how much it would be to collect Cell merch, from standees to pins. How much is a fan going to need to spend in order to get everything Shark Robot has made over the years? Let's get into it. The Shark Robot site still has some Cell merch available. As of writing this, the available merch is the Summer Keychain, Pin Up Stella Number Two, Throwback Health Boss Pack and sell a changing portrait. Before shipping and tax are added, you're looking at about around $45 for this, depending on where you live. The rest of the collection is no longer available on the Shark Robot website, either because it's been retired or sold out. To get the rest of them, I recommend sites like eBay and Macari. Whenever you're buying stuff from these people, make sure you're paying a fair price and that it is the real thing. Fortunately for us, there are no records of Stella Pins being fake or any of her other merch. But make sure you're looking at it before it pays. I'm not responsible if you get scammed. For this video, the price ranges for the rest of these items will be what I found mostly on Macari, mainly because I trust that site more, and eBay is a dice roll with how scalpers use it. Firstly, the keychains. To complete the set that we have already, let's talk about the keychains. First one that we're going to be looking at is the Pinup Sella keychain, released in February of 2023. You can find them relatively cheap, from $19 to $28 depending on where you look. The next one for the collection is the Swimsuit Sella Keychain, released during the summer of 2022. This was on the website for a long time, luckily for us, so that means scalpers will be selling these cheap to get rid of them. Ranging from $15 to $25, you too can own this keychain. The final keychain that was released during Black Friday of 2022 was the Stella Keychain. These are pretty hard to come by, with me only finding one on eBay for $50. Next category is the standees made of her. Starting with her first one is the Stella Standee, released on Black Friday of 2022 alongside that same keychain. Since these are now out of stock, the prices are going to be ridiculous. You're going to be spending between 70 to 80 for the standee. Next is the pinup Stella Standee, released during Valentine's Day of 2023. Being one of the first standees that sold out, you could think that would be expensive to get. I mean, yes, but it's not as bad as you think. Ranging from $47 to $64, you can go into debt for merch. <laughs> the last standee of the Stella collection is the Swimsuit Stella Standee, released during the summer of 2023. Selling out first, this standee will cost you between $64 and $85. The final bits of merch to go over is the pins, the most popular items in the Busy Pop line. In the same merch launch, we had the Portrait of Stella and the Portrait of Little Octavia. Now, you may be a little confused of why I'm including Little Octavia's portrait. According to this Excel spreadsheet that I use for merch updates, the person holding Little Octavia in the background is confirmed to be Stella, based on how the background person is drawn. So technically, if you're getting every Stella merch, she is included in it. Both can be found pretty cheap since they were on the website for a whole year before they added them to bundles to just sell. You can find the Little Octavia portrait between 10 to $17.10, and sell between $9 and $20. Knocking out two pins in the same line are the Shy Struck Stella pin and the Chibi Full Body Gold Stella. These pins also sat on the website for a long time, so we can still find them pretty cheap. Mainly the gold one you'll find a lot more of than the Die Struck. Die Struck pin ranges from $11 to $22, and the Chibi Gold pin ranges from $7 to $20. The next pin's official name is called the Stella pin, which I'm going to be calling Stella's Headshot. Even though it was released in 2021, it can still be found pretty cheap, ranging from $6 to $15. Heading forward in time, we have the pin of Stella pin. 
This one sailed out pretty fast, so unfortunately these prints are high for it today. 60 to $75 will be the range for it, unless you can find it cheaper. The final pin for Stella is the Swimsuit Stella pin released in 2022 of summer. This one sold out pretty fast, but it can be found at okay prices. The ones I found range from $37 to $60. After calculating the lower and higher prices, the range for buying every Stella merch made is going to cost you between $450 and $606.10 to collect the pins, standees, and keychains that feature Stella as of writing this in mid-December. You might be able to find these cheaper or higher than the range listed, but it is a good indication of what to expect when you're looking for these. I recommend saving search results for Hasbin Hotel and Helva Boss. That way, if anything new is added to eBay and Macari, you'll be the first to know about it. You might get lucky and find a good deal before someone else gets it. I also recommend subscribing to VizzyPop on YouTube for merch updates, and also following the Hasbin Hotel Twitter page in case of old merch coming back. That way, you're maximizing your chances of getting these quickly and cheap. And with that, that is the video. That is every single Stella piece of merch available now. Sure, there might be more added to the future, which I recommend just keeping up with future ones while you're looking for the older merch. And don't rush for getting any older merch that, that is out there. It's not about the destination, it's more about the journey that it takes for you to collect the thing. I mean, I didn't get my collection overnight. It took me a long time to collect this, and I sure as hell wasn't dumping a thousand dollars at a moment's notice. It took time, so you should enjoy collecting it. Thank you guys for having me rant about Stella for a little bit. It was a lot of fun! If you're interested in other videos kind of like this, I have two made already in the past where I dissected Cherry Pop merch, and I dissected uh, Serpentious merch as well. So go free and check them out. Also, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing for more content. It would be appreciated. And so, thank you to my editor L for editing this. Really appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye!